totalmente inaspettato, veramente, veramente troppo, grazie. Mangerò anche per lo No, mi inizi, grazie. Can you tell me a little bit about the story behind the Maison Sen, the each room? Yes, if we make a tour from the starting, we can go there. Okay. At the beginning there is the, the small piece who gave the title of the exhibition, mm -hmm. La Folie Pratique. That is a small book that my father designed in 1945. The first room is dedicated to the books. The books was the the origin of every inspiration, he was cutting the books. He was very violent with books. He was in love with books, but also he didn't respect really. So he was cutting the images from the book and dividing in fives. And the books in such became a decoration team. As you can see in many, many pieces, because everything was a theme and many variations. Did he have a favorite book? <laughs> it's a difficult choice. More difficult than choose a Fornazetti piece. Everybody is asking, which is your preferred piece? <laughs> Every day I have a team. Ah, but that's good. This is the room dedicated to the painting, because my father started as a painter, as, a, as an artist. Uh, he was painting from the beginning. Uh, in the 30s, in the 40s, he stopped in the 50s and in the 60s to be back painting in the 70s, in the 80s. And in the middle there is a table, a table made in, with very common use objects of everyday objects, like cash trays, small invitation, uh, small books, covers, boxes. Everyone is like a work of art. It's a small work of art. dedicated to the printing experience because he was a printer basically, not only an artist, uh, full of skills and interest in every kind of printing techniques. He was inventing his fonts, many fonts, many different letters. And there is uh, some recent pieces that I did using the original lithographic plates that my father used for printing his decoration. So it was a pity to have it in the storage. And so I decided to recycle, reusing, reburning a new life, this marvelous piece, gray pieces. Other artist uh, printed by my father, like De Chirico, Campigli, Fontana. This is not very good. <laughs> This room was, uh, is a reconstruction of the living room in the villa on the lake that is no more there. I saved some original pieces and I rebuilt this room. 
the same atmosphere. I spend, it's an emotion for me every time I cross this room because I spend half of my life. Wow. You can feel the emotion. This is the room dedicated to Joe Ponti and the relation of with Joe Ponti that starts with the head scarves, with the full art. He was mostly his full art in a, in a competition at the Triennale, and he was asking to my father to find a way to transfer the Italian art, basically, the art in general, on a common use object in furniture, in uh, interior design, many other things. This is a very exceptional piece. It's a unique, important piece made Gio Ponte Ponazetti and Fontana Arte together. Mm. A very precious piece. My friend Miguel is joining us. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I love the work of your father. Thank you. <laughs> the room of the self-portrait. She was spending during the war in Switzerland as a refugee, a long time in a room, big like his bed. And he was standing without anything to copy, to draw, only his face in a mirror. And he was making variation of his face. This is this is like my my and my you? wish. That's my friend Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> this is the the wow, train. Wow, this is stupendo. I had no idea it was this comprehensive. <laughs> is it possible for me to live here? Can I rent yeah, the if room? you want to sleep, <laughs> yeah. we, we will ask it to do that. Wow, we can is, put it back. This is yeah. remarkable. <laughs> now, you know, we're doing a big feature on you, but I think today is, is not, maybe it's difficult, you're distracted and so on, but if we can do something, 